Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your man James, aka JP, back again with another Toy Room review. Today we're taking a look at the World of Nintendo Star Fox Fox McCloud figure from Jack Specific. I've been really excited, really anxious waiting for this figure. I finally found it in stores. So let's take a quick look at the packaging here. It's your standard World of Nintendo packaging, but as you can see, it does have the blue background for Star Fox. And uh, you see here, nice open window box fully displaying Star Fox or Fox McCloud, I should say, over here. And you see the Star Fox logo. You get the mystery accessory, which I believe is his ship, like a miniature version of his ship, or it's probably his blaster or something. Then on the back here, we get a nice image of Fox over here. Uh, not really any read-up or anything, but nice images of Fox. Shows you all his action features. He's the 4-inch figure, 12 points of articulation. Shows you the other figures from this wave. I passed on Fire Mario because I have the smaller one. I picked up the Goomba, passed on Yoshi because it was just a repaint. And I need to find Peach. Uh, they didn't have it in the store, so Peach is the only one left I have to find from this particular wave. Alright guys, let's get Fox out of the packaging and then we'll take a closer look at him. Alright you guys, so here's Fox out of the packaging. Uh, first we'll take a look at the mystery accessory it comes with. You see the Star Fox logo done in this nice red over the gloss black. Looks really nice. So we'll go ahead and get this open here and see what's inside. Yep, just as I thought. It's a miniature version of his uh, ship. I completely forget what his ship is called. Um, yeah, I'm blanking out right now. But anyways, a uh, nice, you know, nice paint app so you can tell, you know, what it's supposed to be. But it is pretty small, doesn't fit in scale, obviously, at all. But still a cool accessory. Probably would have been better to have, like, a blaster or something included, but still pretty cool. And then we have Fox over here. So, um, yeah, it looks like he just jumped out straight out of, like, uh, you know, Star Fox 64 or something. Great likeness to the character here. Just great head sculpt, great paint apps. See the um, half-closed eyes kind of giving, like, that angry look over here with the nice green pupils. And, uh, you know, nice different shades. They have, like, a, a light beige and, like, a darker beige over here. And then you got the, uh, the little headpiece that he wears. So nice detail sculpted in there. It's all just pretty much gray, but the detail is there. And we'll take a look at his um, outfit here. So you see he's got the name badge, his little scarf, his green jumpsuit with his, um, you know, his little space jacket over here. Nice details. You got like the buttons painted on. They're not sculpted. Neither, uh, yeah, the zipper's sculpted. So some sculpted, some painted detail. Got the gloves painted on. And you got the pants down here. And then the gray boots. And no peg holes, but you do have the treads at the bottom. And the back here, pretty plain. You got his tail. So we'll take a look at the articulation, because he is pretty articulated. So his head can move, not really up and down, but it can rotate left and right. Uh, you got the joints here, the ball joints at the arms. So it can go outwards, forwards, and back. You can do the full 360 over here. Uh, we have a single bend at the elbow. Uh, bends a little more than 90 degrees here, so that's pretty good. You have, do we have a swivel at the wrist? Nothing at the wrist. You get waist rotation here. His legs can move forward just a little bit. They move back just a little bit. He has one bend at the knee that doesn't really go 90 degrees. It's kind of hindered by the boots here, if you can see that. And then we have, his foot can move up and down. And that's it, no side to side pivot over here. So, you know, pretty good articulation for the World of Nintendo figure. A lot better than, you know, some other figures that we've gotten. So that's pretty cool. Alright, you guys. So there's my review of the Jack Specific World of Nintendo Fox McCloud figure. Really excited to get this figure. If you guys can find this figure, definitely pick it up. Highly recommend it. It's got nice articulation, great paint apps. It looks like he just jumped straight out of the video game. Great likeness to Fox. Um, can't wait to get him up on my shelf. Make sure you guys stay tuned for my review of the World of Nintendo Goomba that I also picked up. That'll be coming tomorrow. And as always, hope you like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.